Welcome to Creek Fishing Adventures. Well, I am on a creek and we got a little adventure plan. And today is something that I do pretty often, but if you're not familiar with my channel or you haven't, maybe you haven't seen a lot of them, uh, you might not notice this fish I'm going for. I'm going for the, actually the rarest black bass fish in Tennessee. You got smallmouth bass, which is the state fish. You got largemouth spotted bass. This right here is called a red eye bass, but I call it a kusa bass. You can call it either one. Look, Google it and look it up. It might not be what you're thinking really fun aggressive fish uh we're going to be using them i'm going to be probably using like these uh, three inch jean larue swim baits a medium light rod fun to fish these fish do not get very big but they're very beautiful so let's see if we can catch them this can be really good oh yes he came out of that rock right there number one exactly the fish we're going for today they got no trouble they got a uh, they're so aggressive like they're like smallmouth but just miniature as far as how ferocious they are and when they hit there it is there's that's the uh, that little patch behind his eyes sometimes they got bluish around their belly little white tint on the edge of their fins but it's about a six inch one but that's that's what they do they get a little bigger but not much so number one that's nice oh yeah dude they are fired up today they're coming out and hammering it oh that's a pretty one i love how some of them are a little bit different colors got different bars to them for a little fish they have no trouble eating that lure and sometimes they like to attack a little bit bigger bait look at Jalen's right there I, w I was down on the other side of the bushes and I watched the fish come out and hit his swim bait as he's reeling it in Oh, can I get a cast up in there? Now that should be a fish. Oh, yes, yes. There he is. I knew it. Getting a cast in these right spots. That's a good one, too. Nice. The biggest one today. Jalen's already caught three, I think. I think he's, he may have caught more than me. Look at that fish. Look how beefy they are, they look strong. Yeah! There he is, he's back in those rocks. Nice, nice. Oh! Man. <sighs> Oh, that ought to be something right there. That'll be a fish. There he is. Yeah. See, I got it right on those rocks where he was. Yeah. <laughs> this little guy came out and hammered it. Look how fat he is. Oh, it's spawning. Look at his tail. See it? His tail's red on this side. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. That looks kind of like a sore. Can't tell. But a fat little guy. I said I haven't cast it up on the yeah. yet. I bet there's a fish there. You cast it there. Oh. Yeah, there he is. Oh, nice. Come on. All right, he wanted to get back out there. Come on, come on. Oh, look at that one hit following mine. Got it. Oh was, yeah! Oh, that's a red breast. I couldn't tell what it was. I saw something. Nice. Uh, that's another reason I like this size lure. It can catch some of these bigger other species. Yeah. 
There's a red breast sunfish. A little bycatch today. Oh, yes. Feels solid. What is that? Oh, man, that's a nice goose of bass. Yeah, finding one of these guys, oh, he's been caught before. I'm sure all these fish have been caught before, but somehow they stay so healthy in here. Oh, nice. <laughs> these little guys are, I don't know what they're hitting at. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. Got it. I watched him, had to let him eat it. Oh, a little largemouth. Yeah. Oh, a little, another bycatch. Who wants a little largemouth? We didn't come for him. He's a fat little guy. Is he? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there you go. Doubled up. We got to get a picture of that. Oh, that's a nice kusa. <laughs> nice one. All right. Largemouth and a kusa bass. Look right there. See that one down there? Is that, a, what is that? That's a kusa bass. They have a lot more, you, when you see them in the water a lot of times, they look like they have a lot more spots on them. Oh my goodness. A big kusa bass followed it out, nipped at it, and that's it. Oh, shot duck. About to hook me a duck. I'm going to switch up to a little yum puppy crawl. I had a, a f couple fish recently follow and not hit it. So I can fish this a little slower and they might hit it. But also we're about to work our way back upstream. So I'm kind of going to kind of go back through where we came through. Got him. Got him. Good one. It's that one I saw. Oh man, that is a nice one. Come take a picture of this one. All right, that one, I had to change up to a little slower lure and just kind of sink it in there, let him take it. Yeah, they're, they're kusa bass. They only get about this size. They're, they live in, oh, this is one of the few creeks they live in, so. Yeah, they're real pretty. Well, I had a uh, kind of little audience on that one. I was gonna explain a little bit, but there's like a bunch of people walking down the greenway uh, looking at it and stuff like that. But that was a really good size one. He probably close to 10 inches and that's a big one for these size. And it's just a fun fish to catch. I know a lot of people are gonna look at that and they're like, those are tiny little fish. And like, yeah, they're small for, bass if you're bass fishing but if you're just fishing for fun that's a it's a really cool fun aggressive fish to catch so we've kind of gone as far as we're going to go this way probably only a half a mile or so and we're probably going to work our way back out we might catch a few more i don't know it's a good way to get hurt right here but i'm going for it just a little jump Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What is that? Nice bass. That's even a good fun. Oh man. It's even bigger. Dude, I got a huge Kusa bass. Man, this is this is a really good one. That one is definitely over 10 inches and very thick of a fish. That was a good catch. And these things are strong. He, he might not be the biggest one I ever caught, but I think the biggest I ever caught is 12 inches. He's probably 11. Well, hey everybody, thanks for watching and thanks for Jalen for going fishing with me. He's holding the camera for me. I try to get people to do this uh, every once in a while, just get a better angle and I tell you what, they were really attacking those uh, swim baits, and there was a. I probably could have, I may have caught a few more, I don't know, on the little crawl, but I, I threw that at the end and I got a couple to come out and hit it. 
but the little three inch size is just a great size and plus these these fish are so aggressive they'll hit about anything also i went with my uh, this is a abby garcia veritas uh medium light rod with a, just a abby garcia reel six pound braid and i had an eight pound fluorocarbon leader just to hold up for the abrasion on the rocks and stuff like that and this little setup is fun to fish with it's enough power to set the hook on something and it's it's light enough to feel the fight of these fish too so it's a great little setup you don't have to have a lot to catch these fish also another thing about these fish this is not even a native water that they're in they were put in these creeks uh several creeks through here in east tennessee back in the 80s but if you go to the conestoga river area which is not far from here that's where they're the native they're actually native too and that's just a small part of tennessee so they're really only found in a few places and this is probably one of the only greenways in tennessee that has these fish um they're pretty cool they're, they are been put in other places in um other parts of the country and state they kind of you know they're living but they stop they live in these small little creeks like this little stream they just thrive and do really well people fish for them there's and as you can tell there was tons of them we only covered about a, maybe a mile stretch and we just caught tons of fish today had a blast so thanks so much for watching